Open Day celebration and Canaan Day celebration, the aftermath of the State of the Nation's address. This is what we are looking at today. By beating people and putting them in the gutter, you, you get the information you need. But, but they also felt that is the only way they could fish out the, the, the perpetrators. Okay. Fellow Ghanaians, and we have come to a state where I believe we have built more roads than any other government in this country. And then uh, the COVID system was Studios, what are we studio getting? TV. I promise on my honor to be faithful and loyal to Ghana, my motherland. I pledge myself to the service of Ghana. Now, let's bring it down. I promise to hold in high esteem our heritage won for us through the blood and toil of our fathers. And I pledge myself in all things to uphold and defend the good name of Ghana. So help me God. These are lines we were taught to recite every morning at our school's assembly, way back from KG through primary, through SHS. And I'm sure our ministers, our leaders, also had a take on this. Good morning. My name is Ni Amate Kwabna Jeremiah. This is the Loud Lounge. And today, we are seated again to discuss matters of the nation, matters that would bring improvement, matters that would help our day-to-day -day activities. Let me take this break. When I come back, I sit and we zoom into matters of today. Studios 2 TV. The truth is here in your eyes. Welcome back from that break. And as I mentioned earlier on, this is still the loud lunch. And today, a whole lot has happened. A whole lot has happened. From... Uh, Independence Day celebration way back to Open Day celebration and Canaan Day celebration and then the State of the Nations address the aftermath of the State of the Nations address this is what we are looking at today so over the week yourself, myself, we heard what happened at uh, in Vota region, where the Independence Day celebration was held beautifully, and in my other video you watched, you you saw or you heard how people reacted to the Independence Day celebration and other holiday celebrations in Ghana. People are of the notion of the mind that it's high time we scrap these things of looking at our economic stand now as a nation where we have to go out, borrow from countries, borrow from IMF, even exchange some national commodities for other things. People are saying it is high time we, we, we scrap the Independence Day celebration. I know you, you also have your, your, your take or what you think about this sort of people. Uh, the farmer, John Dumelo, started all this and then he was uh, seconded by her ladyship, uh, Sophia Akufu, also, who also uh, said the same thing. Now, the Independence Day celebration has been celebrated. A Canada, Yakobo, Yaba, Ya Ebenumti, Ya Numti, no, we are back to Accra. A day after the celebration, which was supposed to be an open day for the students, it didn't just land there, it landed again somewhere as beating day where members of the Ghana Armed Forces, people who are supposed to protect our lives, personnel who are supposed to go out for war, fight for the nation, decided to recruit some young men and then drill them a little bit because of uh, something they felt didn't go right. Now, the question is, why in the name of God, let's take it from the beginning, why in the name of God will young people gang up to kill people who have been assigned to protect and fight for the rights of citizens? Did the people of Asham and all, did the youth who did this, did they forget what happened to the Nchobwase people? Did they forget about it? 
or they also wanted to have a feel of it. I believe by now they are having a feel of what happened. Because you don't understand why youth. The last time I mentioned this thing, I was like, the youth is like we are, we are growing wings, which is not right. Which is not right. It's high time we sit down as youth and then put the right things where they are supposed to be. The people we are supposed to be fighting are not the, the security personnel or the service personnel. Let's channel that energy into a different uh, direction. This is the Loud Lounge, and my name, once again, Niamati Kwabna Jeremiah. Today, I'm not doing this alone. I am joined in the studio by the one and only Bra Kwabna. My brother. Bra Kwabna is here with me. Bra Kwabna, welcome. Today, I decided to go local with you. Yeah, Bra Kwabna. my brother. Um, it's always an honor to be on your show. It's one fantastic show. People are always buzzing and talking about it in town, so... I always take the opportunity to be here. Anytime I'm not here, you find me fidgeting. And I know, I know you are also doing a great job by sharing and making your people also know what is happening. I mean, it's a common goal. It's to our fellow Ghanaians. And that is what you are also supposed to do. So you are supposed to like the video, comment, share, subscribe. For other people who are also not hearing the good news to also do what? Get to it. Back up now. Welcome once again. Thank you. Thank now you. Let's, let's zoom in straight. Asylum. Asylum. Open day in voter region, it was caning and drilling day in Asylum. Very Ghana Armed Forces. In the, in, the, in the spirits of independence, I mean, my African prince. Yes. Yes, in the spirit. You know, of some of us could have done it, but of course, of we have course, to of brand. Course, of course. We have to Studios, brand. Studio Studios TV is yes, going. Yes. Of course. Yes. Asylum. Let's go to Asylum. Asylum. Once again, happy 60 seat independence to all my fellow Ghanaian brothers and sisters. Uh, a shy man. This, this is a very delicate issue. Rest in peace to the young soldier who lost his life. I mean, no parents have to bury their ward. It's sickening. It's disheartening. It's, it's a sad occurrence. You understand? It's a very sad occurrence that a young man full of life will just be brutally murdered like this. It's nothing good to write home about. As, as a father myself, I sometimes just sit at home and I imagine myself in the shoes of those parents. You understand? You just have to ask yourself, what if it was your word that stepped out? What if it was your word that is protecting, the, the same people he's protecting are now killing him? Yeah. You understand? These are some of the questions you have to ask yourself. Then you have to ask yourself deeper questions. Is the Ghana Armed Forces aware he was at Ashiaman? These are some of the questions we have to start asking ourselves. You understand? We don't just have to point fingers and, and lay claims and lay blames here and there. That is what we like to do as Ghanaians. First thing first. I wasn't pleased with the video I saw at Ashiaman. Uh, which of the videos? The military... I Is mean, <coughs> listen... I, I have no problem with the military doing their investigations. Yeah, I man. mean, one of them has been killed. If you come for one of us, you've come for all of us. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. You understand? But then, watching people's fathers and their mothers being beaten up, my brother, you know they make sense at all. At some point, you could hear the wailing of women. Women! People were rolling on the floor, rolling the gutter. And I mean, how does that bring justice to the dead boy? Okay. How does that bring justice to the, the dead soldier's family? The people rolling in the gutter. So, if I am the, the mother of, of the dead soldier now, sitting at home, watching other women rolling in the gutter, then I will be happy? Yes. Would that bring back my son? We, I mean, we should be very cautious of how we, we treat some of these things. You see... This is how this thing starts. You, 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 you cane a child for a while. You, you let them know that anytime they are wrong, you come with a rod. You understand? It gets to a point in time, the child will intentionally go wrong because they know when you are coming to, to, to put them right, you come with a rod. That is, that is the only thing you can do and they are used to it. You understand? I feel the whole thing was blown out of proportion. Okay. I mean, don't take it lightly. 
there's a dead soldier here. This is not the first time we are seeing this in Ghana. Cast your mind back to Den Chirobwasi. Yes. yes. I watched that video, and for the first time, I was biting on my teeth. I was so mad. I asked myself, how could you? How can you do this to your fellow human? Take the fact that he's a soldier away. He's human first. Yeah. So whatever be the case in Ashiaman, couldn't it just have been solved amicably? That it has to result in another man losing his life? All right. But then you ask yourself, is revenge? Is revenge the approach the military should have taken? Okay. Okay. It's revenge. Because this is not an act of investigation. I beg to differ. I mean, we are well educated. Nobody is stupid. We are well educated. That You can't tell me this is an act of uh, investigation. So, you, by beating people and putting them in the gutter, you, you get the information you need. But, but they also felt that is the only way they could fish out the, the, the perpetrators. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. So, as we are sitting down in our studios this morning, it's safe to say that they found the perpetrators. Well, yourself, myself, we can't. Because they have a, a number of youth, they say, they are about to prepare them before they... Uh, and give them, hand them over to the Ghana police for investigation. Well, that, that, that would be a brilliant move. But after that, they shouldn't forget the old... Because I have families in Ashaman too. Because the, the pain caused to other personnel or other people in Ashaman, I think it, it, it overshadows the main motive. You understand? Them. Yeah. You understand? You, you in, in, in your quest for justice... You don't cause harm. You don't cause harm. This is, this is revenge. I don't buy into the justice. It, you, you can't sell... I mean, if you watch the videos yourself, you watch them closely. My guy, I get family members, uh, old women and uh, old men for their... So if you if you they tell me say this be justice to the dead soldier, I, I I don't think his parents will even approve this. Okay, okay, okay. Don't don't take anything away from the fact that I mean I lost my brother to uh, 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 the, uh, uh, this kind of uh, 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 scenario. A mob attack. Yes, a mob attack in South Africa. Okay. I I I couldn't sleep for one day. So watching this dead young man lie on the floor, that's, that's the, the, the dead soldier. It brought me back very, very, very painful memories. You understand? So the mother has spoken. Uh, there were a whole lot of rumors going on. But let's, let's, not, uh, let's, let's not hold on to just that. The mother has spoken, begging Ghanaians to stop circulating false stories. Now, yesterday, Nanado was a parliament. And people were expecting, or Ghanaians were expecting him to speak on the Ashaiman issue. But Numo didn't mention a word. Unlike Major Muhammad's case, we all recall Nanado came to make a statement on the Major Muhammad death. He, they, they even pushed his rank forward. I believe a statue was mounted in, in his honor. Yeah. But uh, His Excellency yesterday, during his speech delivery, didn't mention anything on Trooper Imoro's death and the Ashaiman issue. And Ghanaians are, are of the view that uh, as a, a plan is a plan something from head to the military, then to the field. Do you agree with what what, what Ghanaians are? First of all, let me let me start by saying this: a nation, a nation. That waits eh, for the, their fellow countrymen to sleep before they declare election results. I don't take anybody serious in it. All right, thank you. I think we can, we can, we can end there. Yes, I think we can. I get where you are coming from. And I wouldn't allow you to continue. I think we can end it. All right, so this is still the Loud Lounge. My name is Niamate and I'm here with Prak Kwabna, the one and only Grandmaster with two PSN. You understand? I admire him so much. I admire his courage. And he's ever ready to be on the show. Don't forget, he's all, also the sports host on Studios 2 TV. Uh, don't forget, once again, to like, subscribe, comment, and share on any of our shows. Any of our shows. Make sure somebody also have a feel of it. The fact that you don't like sports does not mean everybody does not like sports. Somebody likes sports in your contact. Share. The fact that you don't like the loud lounge does not mean you shouldn't share the loud lounge. Somebody likes the loud lounge. The same applies to entertainment and love city. Chairman, State of the Nation's address. I know you had your expectations before the president came to speak. Did he meet your expectation? 
Not at all. <laughs> you see, I am I am a very hard man to please. Okay. Of course. Why are you Kwame Eugene? <laughs> Kwame Eugene says before before a lady ah. meets him, she, she should have a tough skin. I am a very hard man to please. Maybe maybe people would say maybe I raise my expectations too high. But then, I mean, look look at look look at the state of the economy. See, that's the Ghanaian problem now. We are seated. We are waiting for a national cathedral to praise our maker in. We, we, we would hit on the economy because the president stated that the countries, he's, he's still uh, putting the, the economic hardship on the COVID. So every nation was hit with COVID. But most nations have survived. They are building. They are starting. Why is Ghana still blaming COVID? There was, there was, there was, this, there was this speech there was this speech that it was in line with one of the things he was saying during the, the, the fellow Ghanaian season, during the COVID period, that he was always hitting on. And I, I bought into that so much. That, those very lies he kept using, when he kept on saying he could fix the economy. Yeah. But there's no way he can bring dead people, dead back, people to, back to life. I mean, I, I was so in love every so time he said that. you should take care of yourself. Yes. Protect yourself. Yes. So, Mr. President... Why are you not fixing the economy like you promised? You see, it's time we realize that these people are not magicians. Sometimes we take them too serious. We want to watch and, and understand where the trick is coming from. Because if you sit down, I think we are wasting money places we are not supposed to. What are we doing, my lord? Now, my previous video, most people complain about this Independence Day celebration. They have a feel that we should scrap it off. But here lies the case. We are wasting millions on Independence Day celebration. We are wasting millions on holidays in Ghana. I think Ghanaians have come to love holidays. Holidays. Why would we, you love we holidays? We love holidays. If you, if you suffer the way Ghanaians suffer, you would understand the essence of holidays. We are wasting money on national... I think if, if journalist has not spoken on corruption going on at the national cathedral, around this national cathedral building, I think by now, a whole lot of money would have pumped inside already. As it stands now, I have strong reasons to believe that God is even angry at this project that is being used to tarnish his image. <laughs> and they tell you, see, as it stands now, I think God is angry. <laughs> oh God. Sometimes you need to laugh at certain things. Oh yes, yes, of course. This is a national cathedral. This is a place you are going to worship your maker. It should be clean. Yeah. It shouldn't be filled with controversies. You are starting to offer employee. Look at the controversies surrounding the National Cathedral. Because there are, there are a whole lot of uh, persons who were on board, board of trustees, who have resigned. Now ask yourself, why are these people resigning? God, God, God bless our homeland Ghana. And fair why are these people resigning god bless our homeland ghana and continuously help us make this nation great and strong presidential staffers members of parliament have see we have complained about this thing the number of presidential staffers at the presidency we have complained about the number of mps we have who we see doing nothing So Other than go and sit in parliament, have arguments, and then come home. I think, I think this is what you should do now. We should start going for districts, 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 and we call out the MPs one after the other. We come to your district, we watch what they are lacking there, your, your, your parliamentarian area, we come there, we check what they are lacking there, and we ask what you are still doing in parliament. So yesterday... When the president was about to give the State of the Nation's address, somebody posted on Twitter, we won't listen. It's only big grammar to confuse us. And I think I buy into that. Because the ordinary Ghanaian has to understand what is happening. The president is not a fool. Fellow Ghanaians, and we have come to a state where I believe we have built more roads than any other government in this country. And then uh, the COVID system is currently... What are we getting? Hit the nail on the head already. Tell us how it is. What are we getting? Timemufo, Sikano, Yajia, Yadiyesi, 
ya de aye sei ya de aye sei nti munya abotre ye nim se o ha wo man no mu ya gusu e toto niama se bibia beto na akon then the old man i am always concerned about the old man and the old woman in the village lord have mercy that farmer over there who is paying tax lord have mercy but is not seeing what the tax is doing for them if you if you check the current prices of weedicides and fertilizers, you you understand the pain of the average. I am family. always concerned about these people, hmm. and then the youth coming. What image are we painting for these people? The 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 there is this there is this line from one of my favorite songs. Yes, it's it's Nas featuring Demi Mali. They say some of these smart ass dummies. They can read the language of Egyptian mummies. Yes. They can go way back and read the language of dead Egyptian mummies. Yes. But then they cannot pay attention to the youth. They cannot do anything for the youth. They can fly monkeys to the moon. Whilst we have starving kids in Africa. As at now, we don't have cover, uh, vaccines for polio in Ghana. And the president couldn't even tell us today, tomorrow, but says we should wait. You know, it come. you know, the, 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 there was this very place I, I, I found myself at somewhere in um, Eastern Region. For some reason, I would leave the name out. And someone asked a very intelligent question. I said, Now, and Rona Eddie War Woman, and you see a movie there. Okay. Okay. I said, around here. Now, I was telling the woman, I was trying to educate the woman. Because if you look at the COVID job, it's very crystal. See, I was trying to educate the woman of the importance of getting the job. I was like, oh, mommy, where did you go? So, you know, you're exposed. You know, you're not wearing a mask. You're not wearing a mask. What do you say? And you say, you're not wearing a mask. 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 She's speaking the facts. And it's true. Bro, let's take it to the northern region. We know these places, these rural areas get hit when um, uh, uh, these outbreaks. Uh, outbreaks come. The northern region has always been counted one when it comes to outbreaks. Cholera, polio, typhoid, malaria, all these things. And as at now, we have outbreak. As at now. So the fact that we have not recorded any in Ghana that's, doesn't mean we should relax. As at now, there are no vaccines in the country. And the health minister is sitting in the office. And the finance minister is sitting in the office. You How see, did we get here? We, we got here by not listening to the fact that politicians only build castles in the air. They come with their fine outfits like the one I have on. Yes. And they will just come and sit there. And they just wow you with nice English like I'm about to do now. You know, you just don't have to worry. We have everything under control. The government is working. You understand? We're working 247. It's because of you the government is here. Let us see the 247. Let us see the work. Let us see what you are doing. That is what Ghanaians are asking. If, 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 if a politician does things right, they will no longer be a politician. Are they the Bible that we can't understand them? It's the way of a politician. I, 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 know, of, I know of some good men in office. You understand? But then, you see, that's a problem in Ghana here. We, we, like, we don't like to be our brother's keeper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We don't like to be our brother's keeper yeah. at all. Yeah. And the funny thing is, I do it, I leave office. The next person coming, everyone has their hope high that he would correct what I do or yeah. what I did. He comes there and he's worse than what I did. So D for the bang. Bro, for the sake of time, let's look at yesterday, Parliament House. After the speech was read, let's look at the attitude of our parliamentarians. This is not first, this is not second, and I doubt it will end here. How long should we wait for our parliamentarians 
with no disrespect, to act maturely, to know we, the youth, we are looking up to them. How long must we wait? Election in Parliament, there was, let me say, war. Chaos. <laughs> Where adults are grabbing ballot boxes and ballot papers. Where adults are being chased because of ballot papers. Where slaps are flying in the Parliament House. State of the Nation's address. One, there has been disrespect. Today, there has been disrespect. To the extent of singing or chanting all be lie. I am not in support of what the president came to read. I am not against what the pre president came to read. I have said and I would always say, when we sit here, it's a non-partisan show. We don't support any political party. You do the right thing, we hate you. You do the wrong thing, we bash you. That is what we do here. But to the extent of disgracing the nation in front of other nations watching us. On national TV. On national TV. What are you teaching the youth? Or what are you selling out there? Uh, you, I won't be surprised when uh, uh, students from China, SHS, will come and insult the president. Why won't someone come to our flaster house and shoot a music video? And we call that disrespect to the nation? Like I told you. It, I would only take countries who are bold enough to declare election results in the afternoon. Serious. Yes. You don't wait for your, 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 country, your fellow countrymen to sleep in the middle of the night and you come and declare election results. You are not a serious country. It is bad. I'm coming. Ask yourself. So, <laughs> what, what, what sort of mindset do we use? Or mother, you have results. We are pleading. Government. Members of parliament. Politicians in general, we are pleading. We are pleading. We would always plead. Asamayana Yebeka. Yeka na yankani ya mufan chaying. But the fact is we want to see the best for the nation, the youth and our old aged. Please. You see, I, I, I was listening, I, I think I tuned in to I think one of the channels, I let me with, withhold the name, and there was this debate going on that is the younger generation in parliament causing chaos, all the noise, and some of them were also accusing the, the old heads in Grand. parliament. It is general. Yesterday, if you watched, it is everybody, not just the, 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 the young ones or the old, older ones. It is everybody. Sometimes when you are watching parliament and sitting, and the member of parliament, uh, the speaker of parliament can even sit, order, 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 nobody listens to him. So you see, I think we copied blindly by introducing some of, some of these Western organizations into our countries. I think we should just go back and just make the whole thing monarchical. Grant. Where, where we only, where would only have our chiefs and kings ruling this, the countries. You understand? We should make it solely about kings and queens. Because I don't think uh, uh, there, there, there would be a, a state of a, of a community address that someone would wake up in the midst and say, Nana Yeko, it would never happen. Thank you. So you see, we, we, with, the, with the introduction of this whole parliamentarianship, the presidency, the whole governance and things, I think we got it wrong. Bro, your final words. Asaiman, State of the Nations address, Ghana Armed Forces. Rest in peace to a young soldier. No family has to go through that. More brutality, I have, I have experienced it. So I am very, 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 very against it. I watched the, the, the pictures of the young man circulating online. I, 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 I can't stomach the thought that your mother would have to wake up and go online and see your pictures of you dead online. No parent has to go through that. Okay, now, no family deserves to be brutally beaten. The place the people were beaten, was it the exact place the young man lost his life? That is the first question. The exact place the young man lost his life. Is that the exact place the military carried out their operation? 
my life in a country, when I seek out for protection, if not for personal securities, I'll look first at the police. I'll look at the military. The police is my friend. I believe the military should be my friend too. I shouldn't panic at the sight of military men. I am not a criminal. I have never been a criminal. I shouldn't panic at the mere sight of military men. In more developed countries, listen to my, my English again, in more developed countries, people walk around with camo. Yes, you can even have access to buy these military uh, 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 outfits online and wear them. But then in my country, if you wear them, it's a crime. In your country, if yes. you wear them, it's a crime. So I've been doing this with Grandmaster here on the Loud Lounge today. I am Niyama Tekwabna Jeremiah. Now, before I go, the question is, does the nation Ghana, Ghana, do we deserve the title independent nation? See you same time when we meet. It's a wrap for today. Big ups to all the studio guys and a big thank you to everyone. Studios 2 TV. The truth is here in your eyes.